Do you want to know how to build a roadmap for your self-service contact strategy? Yeah? Let's take a look. Today's customers and employees need access to products and services seamlessly across multiple channels, no matter where they are or what time of day it is. Providing digital services reliably and at pace with the relevant supporting interactions and care results in significantly improved customer experience, minimal customer turnover, and increased digital adoption and revenue opportunities. And if we were to take out a big blank canvas and try and describe such a well-behaved omnichannel self-service solution, we would say that it has to offer a modern, automated, integrated, omnichannel contact strategy suited to users' demographics and preferences, one that is the user's first port of call to resolve issues fast and get what they need when they need it. But we know in reality self-service initiatives are producing limited benefit or even failing entirely and look more like this. Default contact method is based on traditional manual channels resulting in very poor customer experience. Customers' reluctance to adopt the self-service as the go-to place to address their issues and needs. Limited services and knowledge forces employees and customers to contact service desks using old-fashioned, labor-intensive channels. Agents spend precious time on repetitive tasks which should be automated, resulting in missed SLAs and high overtime costs. Incoming workload exceeds service desk capacity, resulting in missed SLAs and frustrated customers. So how do we navigate our way from this to that beautiful customer and employee friendly picture that I drew for you earlier? Here is a proven roadmap with three key phases to help you develop your capabilities. Start by benchmarking current self-service adoption and automation. Engage with business community to understand self-service motivation through surveys, focus groups, and interviews. Plan the catalog and knowledge depth and roll out over time. Next, use the foundation set earlier to rapidly expand the content within the catalog to provide critical mass. The longer it takes to build a great customer understandable content, the lower the adoption rate. Automation can be delivered over time, but exploit rapid process automation of manual tasks and existing automation and integrations. Establish knowledge management production and usage and quality metrics for your knowledge-centered service practice. Finally, automate fulfillment from front office through to back end. Increase automation of existing channels using AI, say email processing, chatbots, etc. Automate backend processing through hybrid cloud automation, cross system automation, and partner bonding. Here are four organizations who've achieved great outcomes through this approach. A public sector organization transitioned 30% of its customer engagements from email to self service channels in three months. A global energy company automated manual repetitive tasks by 40% resulting in $3.8 million savings in three months. A global car manufacturer reduced service desk workload through improved self-service adoption by 40% in four months. A healthcare provider reduced manual effort in handling tickets by 98% in five months. To support the new digital economy, businesses need to dramatically improve the way they engage with customers and how they fulfill their needs. The path to achieving this is long, intricate, and requires executive sponsorship. But having a well-defined roadmap that joins the business priorities with required capabilities is a critical factor in prioritization, investment, and risk mitigation. If you found this video of use, give it a thumbs up. And you can find out more videos related to self-service and other key topics in our Fusion YouTube channel, the A to Z of Digital Acceleration.